Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. I'm just cleaning up a few loose ends and I wanted to show you some snapshots that I took around the Jarbos Mill Alternate Energy Conference last weekend. Uh, I'm going to be organizing all of these videos and, and photo albums into a playlist so that they, they're all collected in one nice neat little bundle. This was a table exhibit of some Bedini experiments that uh, I happened to stop by. These next three photos are pictures of the Bob Boyce replication. Evidently this is Boyce's uh, actual unit. According to Larry, Bob was actually supposed to be there this that weekend and never showed. Larry was not too happy with Bob. And here are some of the toroidal transformers that go along with the three frequency uh, cell modulator. Keith Turtle was showing us this on, on the tailgate of his pickup truck. Inside this clear plexiglass cylinder are what looks like Stanley Myers tubes that actually extend in and out of one another in a tunable fashion. Very cool. And these are a couple of other half-baked projects from Keith Turtle, what he calls uh, Canis Major and Canis Minor. This is my own improvised tailgate display at the show. Uh, to the left I have the VS50M variable regulated power supply powering up the v VSPB cell to the right on top of the power supply is my pulse width modulator to the right of the, of the VSPB cell is my bubbler the HHometer and finally the 8x8 stainless steel plates dry cell this interesting device was made by a gentleman who actually ran a gasoline engine on it for a short while. It is nine VSPB style cells in individual chambers in one large clear acrylic assembly with a with a bubbler in front. Uh, the plates unfortunately do not have any seal are not sealed electrically along the edges, so there was quite a bit of leakage, and I have to I have to believe this cell was not all that efficient. This is a shot of the metering devices that he was using to inject the HHO into his in gasoline internal combustion engine. Here's a shot of Smart Scarecrow putting together his uh, torch assembly with the, the dry cell that he created. Notice he's attaching a vinyl tube to the outlet at the bottom or to the inlet. Notice that there's no hose clamps. This is just prior to when he sprayed electrolyte all over my car. This is underneath the hood of a Mercedes-Benz that was converted to run all on battery. The uh, controller sits on top and you, down below you can see the uh, large electric motor that actually drives the, the drivetrain of the vehicle. Here's another shot of the entire vehicle. He uh, claims he had about 50 to 60 mile cruising range with this setup. And here's a look inside the trunk of the uh, bank of battery cells that he has. These are all lead-acid type cells. Very heavy. Uh, not terribly cost-effective. The only thing to note different inside the passenger compartment are the gauges to the left and right of the speedometer. Instead of gasoline and temperature, you have amps and volts. Here's the electric riding mower that Larry Jarbo created for himself that he talks about in one of my earlier videos. Here's a riding mower that was converted to run with the Pantone GEAT reactor. You'll notice the uh, horizontal pipe down by the casing of the motor and the exhaust, uh, exhaust manifold up at the top. Here's a close-up of the reactor that shows the actual fuel inlet to the side of the engine where the carburetor once was. And the front of it showing the fuel, fuel chamber where the uh, gases are drawn through. This is a Honda owned by a young man who actually drove, drove up from Orlando, Florida to meet yours truly. So I'm really honored by that, but you'll notice in the left-hand side of that photo, we're going to zoom in a little closer, he's actually got a reservoir of gasoline that he's drawing, uh, drawing air through and bringing it into the intake stream as a vapor to enhance the fuel mileage of the car. He says he got some reasonable results with it, but this is not where he's actually headed with his experiment. This is the 1959 Cadillac that was given to Dustin, a.k.a. Smack, to install his Smack boosters on. 
Here's a picture of Dustin himself in front of the creation that he's made. Uh, he and his partner did this installation in a day, a couple of days prior to the event. Really nice work. Um, it would be great to have some actual results to see what, what the mileage improvements are. And uh, the gentleman actually allowed him to drill holes to put all this in. So, I mean, that, that was a great sacrifice. This, this guy is on board with HHO.